Well, high schools, colleges, and universities have many of their sports camps or practices happening during the summer. And with the extreme heat that we're seeing this week, some of those activities, any outdoor activities really, can become a lot more dangerous. Yeah, heat-related illness is preventable, but it remains a leading cause of death and injury among college and high school athletes. News 10's Justin Ken is joining us live in Jackson. What student athletes need to be aware of. Good morning, Justin. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. Now, as you can see here behind me, there's still some clouds out here in Jackson. However, the sun is going to be poking through, and with it's going to come the heat. Now, that's a trend we expect will continue through the week as we're going to see temperatures in the 90s. Just being outside for a long period of time can be very hazardous to your health, but what happens if you have to play an active sport like baseball, soccer, or even football? High exertion sports can be a major risk for athletes when the temperatures soar. Heat exhaustion, exercise associated muscle cramps, and heat stroke are among major concerns. Being prepared is often the best way to combat these issues. Now, moving practices indoors is oftentimes the first choice for prevention. However, not every school has the ability to move inside. For those who will be on the field taking several breaks, having cool down stations, drinking lots of fluids, and of course, having an athletic trainer present can actually save lives. Jackson Fire Captain said they have been called to sporting events before for extreme heat. We've ran to sporting events where uh, high school athletes started having the heat, heat cramps, cramping up from the heat, not staying hydrated. Heat exhaustion is usually associated with elevated but safe body temperatures. Heat stroke can take effect when the body temperature reaches above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. This could cause an athlete to collapse, become confused, or have altered consciousness. Now, athletic trainers can be vital in recognizing and treating heat-related illnesses. In fact, according to the Journal of Athletic Training, a uh, cold immersion uh, water tub can save lives as long as they are used within 10 minutes of early onset heat stroke. In Jackson, Justin Kent, News 10. All right, Justin, thank you. Our First Floor Weather team will continue to keep you updated on the heat wave this week. Download the First Floor Weather app. To get the latest weather updates sent right to your phone, it is free to download in your phone's app store.